Hey, mister, can you tell me where a man might find a bed? He just grinned and shook my hand. No is all he said. Yeah. Well, you know, I find it quite um, disturbing, actually, that people still believe that they're living on a spinning ball. Now, the first test to, to um, attain the truth is to ask yourself, are you spinning? Are you spinning? No? Well, you're not then, are you? Don't deny your senses. Don't deny what you've been given, what nature has, has uh, equipped you with. Now, if you were spinning at, uh, I don't know where we are, where I am, around 550, 600 miles an hour, something like that, I think you'd feel it. I'm in the UK, the north east of England. Um, so, yeah, that tells me without any doubt whatsoever, none, that I'm static, still, not moving. Now, the bit about the ball, so we are, are we on a static ball? Well, no. <clears throat> Obviously not, because in the heliocentric world, there needs to be movement. That every body in their ridiculous, may I say, model has to be in motion. Otherwise, it all falls to shite. And the other, the other ridiculous, the most ridiculous thing about it is the Big Bang. That is. Um, now, where have you got something for nothing ever in your life? Mm -hmm. There's nothing there and suddenly something appears. Um, no. Not even from a singularity, whatever that is. Just a word. But the most obvious thing for people who have eyes and trust their senses because otherwise how would you cross the road how would you get up out of bed how would you put the kettle on you wouldn't do any of those things if you didn't trust and use your senses because you know they are correct and what i'm talking about is the um the fact that we can see um objects ships islands well let's just talk about landmass for now because that doesn't move much uh, there may be are exceptions like in hawaii where it moves a little bit or tremors or you know grows maybe but around the uh, <laughs> around these shores don't things don't do that and we can see land um, over the water, over the sea, that um, should not be visible if we lived on a ball. So there you go. There's proof, proof, not evidence, not, hmm, um, I'll have to look into that. No, 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 no. If you can see it, water is level, obviously. You can show me curvy water, um, you know, great, huge bodies of water that curve. Um, you must be a magician because it, it just doesn't happen. Yet there are still people who cling to this ridiculous spinning ball earth nonsense. Um, people can't seem to get their head around the fact that if you want to create um, air pressure, it has to be contained. So when you blow your tires up on your car, the tire and the wheel form a barrier. 
otherwise it would deflate and it would um it would be the same as the pressure that we're in because it would have to equalize that's what nature does it uh, it abhors a vacuum and it would fill that vacuum immediately with what's ever uh, what is ever around it um so that's why i know that there's no vacuum of space simple science and when you use science you can determine all these things and know that the ball is nonsense now it it does require um courage um look i'm not saying i'm a courageous or um i wasn't in any way intimidated by these findings because i would be lying if i said that if i said i was just accepted them oh yeah that that must be it then no no there's a great deal of um Ooh, mental um, gymnastics, um, you know, thinking and um, realizing the. Although it did come to me in a in an instant, that was over. Um, you know, that was having already researched um, for weeks into this, trying to disprove. Um, well, actually trying to prove the globe for one thing and trying to disprove the flat earth because that just seemed to me to be ridiculous after all the programming. <laughs> After 40 odd years of programming, um, you're not going to just click your fingers and, yep, yeah, that must be it then. Unless, I don't know, unless you've been sort of um, pre um, warned or pre educated or, or um, you knew this to be the um you know you've seen lots of people on about this and and why would there be why would more and more people be coming to the realization of the truth um because it's true perhaps not perhaps definitely so the ball the globe is dead we as in me do not accept it anymore and the people who um are uh, <laughs> what people loosely term as flat earthers are the same they don't they know that it's just it's not a you know um a feeling or a um it's not even a fad let's say it's it's not a fashion it's it's just the obvious truth that the earth is not a spinning ball there's absolutely no proof for the ball which i you know struggled to find and found nothing what i did find were hundreds of cartoons, um, photographs, animation, 
of and well they're so obviously um animated and the further back you go in uh, nasa's history the um the more obvious the animation it's just like if you go back in any sci-fi films of the 50s 60s and 70s the animation was um well for the t for the those times that probably looked upon as quite um um groundbreaking and um, um maybe even fool some people but because you when you were watching the film if you stopped suspending your disbelief and thought oh the cameraman must have been there or they must have used this skill or um, um type of scenery or whatever to to get these shots then which i'm afraid i do that sort of thing uh, uh, um so you know it may spoil the film for me i don't give a toss i know what's going on i won't um i won't allow myself to think like some arsehole that i've mentioned who asked the question on seeing the film gravity with sandra bullock and that other guy george clooney did the go to space to film this deary deary me and that person um well is there any hope for them i don't know so uh it's it's so obvious and yet still people um cling on <laughs> just like the star trek aliens just cling on to their ball it's time to put away foolish childish nonsense father christmas isn't real jesus isn't real the ball earth isn't real we live on a created static plane more than that i can't really tell you i don't know how the sun or the moon works i don't know how the tides work <laughs> it certainly isn't gravitational pull of the moon <laughs> um just because it happens to coincide with the moon has got very little to do with it i think um because there are other factors involved i'm talking about the tides so um I can, what i can tell you is it's a uh, it was ra it rained all day yesterday which was great just kind of um kind of needed it you know the the garden was drying up things were going to seed um much too quickly and it's a kind of mixed day today a bit of sunshine a few showers perfect for growing anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna leave now and um don't take my word for it look for yourselves think for yourselves use your, use your senses use your brain it's an amazing tool um <laughs> yes second favorite organ just like woody allen, allen said <clears throat> so see you later peeps <laughs>